Hello my lovely friends, this is Marta from Drupal Sunshine and welcome in my studio. My friends, I was working yesterday when I received the envelope with my recent order from the Craftstash store. They had this 15% off on their oxide inks, so I just thought uh, I will treat myself with three new colors just to help me to build my stash. Uh, so I've choose this wild uh, rustic wildness, which is a new color, a uh, crackling color fire and brushed corduroy uh, which i have in a regular range but i really really like this color so i thought uh, why not have it in a oxide uh, ink as well i have this beautiful leaf which i was creating when i was playing with this hot of the press dies i i have the video so i'll try to link it over here and then other products i've ordered uh, this is this glass paste from stamperia I have Nouveau Crystal Glaze and a beautiful uh, sparkling uh, glitter uh, from the Cosmic Shimmer. And this is actually like a gel, like a glitter gel. It's very little particles, but they are so, so shiny. Um, they're absolutely amazing and I can't wait to try them on as well. Um, so definitely something I'm looking for. Now, uh, what I've decided to do actually, when I was checking my email today morning, I've noticed that there is a, a I'm receiving this like a daily emails from the craft stash with their latest um, um, offers and what, what's going on, what's on a promotion. And I've noticed that there is a still a celebration for this uh, St. Patrick Day I really regret uh, uh, when the St. Patrick Day was that I didn't manage to put a, a green card together to celebrate that day. But because they still have that offer, I thought, why not? Uh, I will actually create something in a green color. I love a green and I have quite a few of the green um, goodies uh, on my shelf. So I just quickly gathered together a few bits and uh, I thought, why not create something green and, you know, <laughs> extend the celebration if the craft star store is celebrating uh, why can i not uh, me celebrate it as well so i'm having the mask uh, and i did not do the great job my friends i just uh, didn't secure it properly uh, it's my own fault the mask was bounded in the middle so everything has soaked underneath and it was one big mess uh, when i revealed this mask but those things happen i'm also making mistakes like everyone else but this is crafting. I must tell you, my friends, I quite much like this impression I've made on this uh, side piece of a paper. And I will be using that for a card as well. Uh, but here, this panel, I was trying to make it. It was just disaster. <laughs> well, not entirely. I'm still going to be using it. I'm going to be saving it. Here you can see I'm adding the water and I'm spraying a little bit extra uh, inks just to... Uh, you know cover up that mess and here i am working on this side panel uh, so i could have it ready for my next creation and i will just clean the mask and um as I mentioned, if I would be adding those color through the stencil with the sponge and just do like a dabbing, I would spray a little bit on the glass mat and then, uh, you know, uh, use the kitchen sponge just to transfer the color. I would be getting this beautiful design, very, very visible. But because I was uh, spraying and the stencil wasn't really laying flat on the surface, uh, it didn't work. But nevertheless i'm still loving it and i'm quite happy how it's turned out it's very very splotchy and i'm trying to dry it and unfortunately <laughs> again i haven't noticed that the panel wasn't entirely dry so when i turn it back because i didn't want it to get like too much warp so i decided to turn it back here you can see uh, i've i've destroyed it in a few places this design uh, but i took the kitchen towel just dab it off and um, i'm not worried about it definitely uh, don't get yourself too much stress if something does not go your way it does not matter. Um, it meant to be. Uh, besides, if you're going for that distress look, any type of the mistake it will be covered in this in this uh, you know um, um, distressing look. So no one will ever notice. Here I am grabbing additional uh, stencil. This is the crafters workshop. I really, really love it. It's got this beautiful font in it. And I am just going over with this uh, Distress Oxide ink 
just a little bit here and there to add some additional interest and create this interesting texture to my background and once it's gonna be dry i will use this stencil uh, which i cut using the dies from the latest collection from uh, paper discovery and this is the slimline collection i was uh, showcasing on the latest uh, not latest but a week before um craft stash live so i was truly happy to to being able to play with this um this set and while i was trying to you know uh, gather different ideas i came up with idea to create a mask so um i am very happy and i absolutely love it and i'm using it over and over again and here you can see I am adding this uh, glass paste from Stamperia and uh, I must tell you my friends at my first impression is that that the product is much more lightweight consistency it's not as heavy like a regular te texture base it's more like a liquidy uh, but it's still spread very very nicely it's a little bit milky and like a cloudy at first once it's wet but it's similar like uh, once you add the gloss accent they also not really uh, clean uh, w when you put them it's dry clear definitely it's not a super clear uh, look as the mm, as the glossy accent uh, but it's very very nice and i quite like it i really really like the texture it create and this extra shininess which is add to the uh, to the mm, design it's definitely something i will be using in my uh, crafting a lot because many times I'm creating the background and I would like to enhance the texture even more but then I don't want to send it through the embossing uh, folder because maybe I just add some embossing powder and I'm just scared that the uh, sending it through the embossing folder will destroy my embossing uh, made from the powder uh, so this is the good product will be a great for using in that case just put the stencil on uh, put the uh, glass paste on and that will give you a lovely lovely uh, texture add to your project and here you can see i've took another piece of this white card uh, which remains when i cut the a4 size paper half uh, so half of it uh, i use for the green panel and the other half it served me to cut all my elements and uh, again i'm using this beautiful dies from the hot of the press um, which I recently bought not long ago and I was uh, showing you the video uh, from them as well and here I have this beautiful stamp set from Lou Collins uh, this is her latest collection which was just released on, on this past Friday and it's a fun sentiment I love them they're absolutely amazing size and this font is spectacular I truly truly love it so I've decided I will stamp it with the same uh, green oxide ink and here you can see i am just adding a few layers because the oxide inks they're not as like a um, sharp stamping image as you would do with a if if i would use like an archival ink or or um, maybe like memento i would probably go with one or two stamps but a uh, stamping impression but because uh, the oxide are not as sharp in the stamping i'll just go over uh, several times until i was happy with the coverage and here you can see how beautiful green color uh, sentiments i have which says let's celebrate and uh, why not we're celebrating the saint patrick day even if it's like long gone uh, but you can still get the 10 percent offer on the green items from the craft star store so uh, when i see the offer was valid it's still valid for the next few days and um, definitely thought like why not creating something something green I was thinking of it when the St. Patrick Day was coming, but then I was too busy and I never managed to, to play with, with my green goodies. So uh, uh, I thought it's it's a good day. Any day is good for celebration. We should celebrate our days and ourselves and our families and everything what is good in our life. We should celebrate it all year round and all year round is good to create cards, whether the green, blue, yellow, pink, whatever is in your heart, my friends. If you have the spark uh, and you want to celebrate something, then just go for it and create. And like I'm doing here, it doesn't matter. It's long gone. I still love creating from green color scheme. So I just thought I'll do it and I'm going to be 
celebrating it today <laughs> uh, so here i'm just drying my uh, my sentiments and i also cut myself a couple of those embellishment uh, which i really really like it's very nice like a swirl elegant swirls uh, from the hot of the press set uh, with this uh, fancy oval frame and uh, uh, just to match them up with this green team what i did i just go over them with the sponge uh, of the um, with the green ink i had uh, and uh, add a couple of the stamping uh, this is the random text stamp i think the one uh, i had here and i use uh, it was coming from one of the big sets of this uh, stamps from creative stamping magazine i'm not quite sure because i have it uh, for ages and it's now like uh, it's one of my favorite text stamps and it's been lying on my desk for many years it's been totally this color you could see how yellow it was from inks i'm not even cleaning it but i love this little like a text uh, stamp so i'm just using it over and over again and here i've decided to frame up my panel at first because i wanted to add this uh, like a darker color frame and secondly because i use a lot of a moisture on my um, front panel and it's got warp even though i was trying to you know uh, keep it as as straight as possible uh, during me working with the paper it still got a little bit warp and uh, two things you could do you could put it in a bookshelf like between the books like hide it in a book and just leave it for a couple of days and that will flatten up uh, perfectly but obviously no one doesn't have a time for it so my go-to idea if i have this work paper is to back it up with a layer if you will cut yourself a mat and you will back it up uh, with another piece of the cardstock that will straighten it up here you can see i am adding this um, double-sided uh, tape uh, quite quite a lot like uh, i'm putting up plenty of the strips much more than i would use normally but i'm doing that because i want to straighten up the paper and once you glue it to another piece of the cardstock and the two will stick together it will all like toughen up and that way it's a great idea to um, you know uh, keep your paper nice and straight because if you will uh, attach it directly to your card base that could warp up your card base as well if you know what i mean but that way because i am ending up not with one but with three layers of the card uh, once they glue together my front panel this mat and then the cardstock it will be at three layers uh, uh, of the paper tightly you know glued together uh, it will all straighten up and eventually at the end my card will be straight and uh, this is something i like to do uh, so uh, just to just to let you know if you're having the trouble your card is a little bit warped try to use a heavy cardstock the one i'm using here it's 250 gsm and uh, this one or 300 gsm will be a perfect one to mat it underneath and uh, you know just glue it tightly uh, all th three layers including your card base and that way it will straighten up i'm guaranteeing to you uh, that it will work for you as well and here i'm just trying my uh, composition just so i could be like you know try to find the best placement for my elements and uh, my card will be almost ready once i glue all the elements with the hot glue uh, that will be ready and i must tell you my friends i'm very much happy how it turned out even though i was just starting from the white paper there's nothing other colorful paper it's all okay uh, all die cut from the white paper uh, i think uh, i did pretty well and adding this extra layer to your die cut elements like stamping like smudging it with the ink will definitely improve your project uh, rather than cutting the leaf from the plain green paper just try to color it yourself just try to stamp over it cover it with the uh, clear embossing powder or other embossing powder do this distress look this will take all your cards to your next level and uh, you will see only later on uh, on the close-up photos how lovely it's turned out that uh, making this additional step in 
extra embellishing like stamping over your die cut images or coloring them with uh, with inks which gives them this splotchy and even texture it's really add up to your project i think if all would be cut just from the plain paper it would not be looking nothing like that uh, it definitely it's uh, extra few minutes to uh, you know uh, color every single element but uh, it's definitely worth it it's definitely something i would recommend you to uh, to do and try and see for yourself whether it's uh, uh, working for you if you also finding like me that this is a far better than uh, you know cutting it from the color uh, color paper or i would cut it from the color paper but i would still like maybe stamp it or just uh, take a sponge with the darker ink and just try to uh, add a couple of shadow or a little bit interest to the die cut element so they're not gonna be appearing as flat and here i am adding the bow and in the center of the bow i will use this lovely gorgeous a uh, green color uh, button uh, a brat which i got as a present uh, and i really really love it and i'm just securing the uh, ribbon edges uh, just so they're not gonna be sharing uh, so um, it's something i like to do and uh, here i am adding this button and my cart is ready thank you so very much for this quick inspiration i hope you got inspired and you will also play with your green goodies and definitely check on the craft stash uh, store a uh, four day offer because this saint patrick offer is still on so maybe something green you will find you will like it and it's a good way to save you money as well stay blessed my friends and i am wishing you a lovely sunday bye bye